Today I'm showing you three easy Dollar Tree DIYs that can be made almost, well, really entirely using Dollar Tree items. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. The state fair is about to open and for me that means it's really fall. I volunteer with the Youth Livestock Committee so I'll be out there quite a bit and I'm sure I'll bring you along and I'll do a vlog or two. Today's video is part of a playlist and I'm going to share a little bit more about that in a minute but first let's create something fun. This is one of those days until the big day signs that you can find at Dollar Tree. I'm just trying to remove the chalkboard heart that's at the top. I'm painting the back with Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultramet Paint in the color Charcoal. I often use the back of the Dollar Tree signs because if the front has glitter or other embellishments on it, the surface is not as smooth once you remove that stuff, at least, at least for me anyways. So that's why I use the back. This paint covers well and you really just need one coat. And I'll cover what used to be the front with brown craft paper. I have a Cricut that I got from Mother's Day and I absolutely love it. I use it almost in every video, but I want to stress that if y'all don't have one and you're watching my videos and you want to recreate this project, recreate this project, you can do that with hand lettering, stickers, tracing. It's, it's always a good option. So I just lay the decal down, decal down where I think it looks good. I burnish it down and I remove the transfer tape. And I also want to tell y'all what I might want to change if I were going to recreate this. And in this case, I would probably put more space between the happy and the letters F-A-L-L. -L. But anyway, so I'm adding some tower tumbling blocks to the bottom to act as a stand for the sign. And I'm sorry if it's a bit out of frame for that part. Now, I'm adding some pumpkins to the bottom and I'm just using some hot glue and pressing down firmly. I'm adding a raffia bow to the corner. And y'all know I don't use the raffia, but the stuff from the hula hoop, hula hoop, the hula skirt. I keep calling it hula hoop, but anyway, it's from the Dollar Tree. And as y'all can see with the finished piece, I actually added it to both corners and I added some Spanish moss to the bottom. And I think it turned, I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm participating in a playlist today that is hosted by Bargain Bluebird. Of course, I'll have her channel as well as the playlist linked below. I just watched her laundry room makeover because I am in the process of refreshing mine and I wanted some inspo and hers turned out great. She also did some cute tear trade decor ideas and I, I y'all know that's my jam. Anyway, let's get on to the next project. I found this acorn shaped palette type sign at Dollar Tree. They did have one that was a complete sign with no slats, but of course I couldn't find it when I went to go get one. That's okay though, this turned out just fine. I'm starting out by painting Waverly Wax in the color Antique. I go back and I wipe off the excess and I let it dry. Fun fact, I've had this container of acorns for forever, like literally years. I know that because I collected these when I lived at my old house and that was like over two and a half years ago. Anyways, we would have so many fall and I would always think, oh, I can make something with those. And that is also a vintage Tupperware sandwich container. My mom had brought over a box one day and it had a lot of vintage Tupperware in it that she was just getting rid of. I kept several pieces and I store my craft supplies in them. So I know it's kind of random, but that's where we are. Anyway, as you can see, we have, I have two acorn pieces here. The smaller one is also from the Dollar Tree and it comes in a pack of five or six. I think, I think they're supposed to be ornaments. And I have a good idea of how many acorns I will need. So now it's time to start gluing them all on because the part I'm gluing on is not very solid. It's the empty acorn cap. I have to put down some glue and then I try to twirl it around a little bit to get the glue to cover more on the rim of the acorn. So I just continue that process until the cap part of the wood piece is covered. And I'm wrapping the stem of the acorn in twine, not perfectly or anything, just wrapping it so it's covered. I found this little wood happy fall sign at Hobby Lobby. And earlier I said that you can make all of today's projects with Dollar Tree items and you can because I found a pack of wood words at Dollar Tree just this past weekend and it had phrases like hello fall, welcome autumn and things like that. And now I'm just carefully gluing the wood piece on and trying not to use too much glue. 
here is how the acorn turned out and I just love I have it leaning against my pumpkin wine glass project from another video but I think that this would look really cute in the center of a wreath which means I need to either make a wreath possible new DIY coming <laughs> or search for one when I'm out and about and shopping I took this little mini wood pumpkin that I found at the Dollar Tree. I am painting it with Waverly Wax in the color Antique on the bottom half and then wiping off the excess. Just a little note, I'm trying to do a dupe version, mini version of a piece I saw at Kirkland's and didn't realize that the top half was brown, so mine is kind of reversed, but anyways. I used some painter's tape to create a crisp line and I'm painting on Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultramet Paint in the color Linen. Now the part that everyone loves, peeling back of the tape. And yeah, I did it in slow-mo. <laughs> I'm using a decal that I cut out from my Cricut, but honestly, this is super easy to freehand. And they even have stickers at the Dollar Tree that you can use in place of a Cricut decal. And I'm just wrapping the stem with a bit of twine that was actually a piece left over from another sign. And of course, Captain is helping. And now I'm attaching a tower tumbling block to the back to help it stand. This little piece turned out really cute. And even though I flipped the colors, the brown is supposed to be on top and the white's on bottom, but it looks, so it doesn't look exactly like the Dirk Kirkland's dupe, but or it's not a Kirkland's dupe because of that. But anyway, it still looks awesome and it'll look awesome on a tear tray. Thank y'all so much for joining me today as I created three easy Dollar Tree DIYs for you. I hope you enjoyed them a lot and I hope you'll join me in my next video. And until then, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.